Hi, I'm Lawson with AM Performance Electronics. I'm here with my man Jason and legendary import racer Abel Ibarra and the Flocko Racing R100. And today we're gonna to show you how to connect a CD7 digital dash to an Adaptronics ECU. Since Abel's been updating this vehicle with modern technology, we've gone ahead and supplied him with a CD7 logging dash. And what that includes is a panel mount USB port so that we can go ahead and grab all the data from the dash quick and easy so we're not reaching behind the dash, plugging in every time. Okay, now that the dash is installed, we can go ahead and explain how this is connected to our M2000 Adaptronic ECU here. Uh, we've got a VDM vehicle dynamics module installed in the vehicle. Uh, that connects via AM net to the dash, and we're also supplying power to the dash and the vehicle dynamics module through the AEM net connector. Uh, in order to connect to our Adaptronic M2000 ECU, we're gonna use the CAN2 port here, to two pin DTM connector. And that wiring uh, travels along here, down this roll cage rail here, uh, and power is supplied to those devices via the PDM. And our CAN ultimately ends up in our J2 connector on the M2000 on pins 15 and 23. Okay, we're gonna show you how we're gonna connect our CAN2 wires from our CD7 to our Adaptronic M2000 ECU. And all these tools here are all you're gonna need. So the CAN wires on the Adaptronic M2000 ECU are on the J2 connector. And we have one of Adaptronic's uh, beautiful color pinouts that they provide for you. This is the physical J2 connector. Uh, and our CAN high wire is pin 15 which is right here. And our CAN low wire is pin 23, which is directly below pin 15 on the connector. We're gonna ahead and go ahead and plug in our CAN high and low wires from our CAN 2 connector on our CD7 dash harness. The first thing we're gonna wanna do with this connector is actually unlock the terminal lock. So to do that, on the bottom side here, there's a little rectangle. We're gonna take a flat blade screwdriver and pop it out and you will now see that the two locks on the top have popped up. So now we're gonna show you how to crimp this terminal onto this CAN2 CD7 sub harness. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strip these wires using our handy dandy wire strippers. Twist these wires up and make sure that they're nice and tidy. And we're gonna take some universal butterfly crimping tools and go ahead and crimp to our can low. And we're gonna do the same thing with our CAN high wire. Okay, now that we've got our terminals crimped, we're gonna go ahead and pop them into our connector here. Our CAN high wire goes to pin 15, and our CAN low wire goes to pin 23. So this is a very simple contact to insert into this connector. We're gonna put our CAN high wire into 15, CAN low into 23. Push these in until they fully seat, and last step is to push these lock assurance pins down. And if those go all the way down and lock into place, you know you've got your terminals inserted all the way. Anytime you're doing any CAN wiring on any vehicle, you wanna make sure that you twist your wire, a minimum of one twist per inch. So now that we've got this wired into our Adaptronic ECU connector, we're gonna go ahead and plug this side into our CAN2 connector on our dash. Upload the configuration into the dash, and we're all set. So now that we've gone through the wiring, let's show you how we, how we turn this dash on. So we've assigned a button on the keypad here that controls the PDM. Press that once, PDM sends power to the dash and our VDM simultaneously. What's really nice about this dash is we have seven customizable screens. We have our splash screen, which pops up when you first turn the dash on. We have our on change page, which displays uh, different variables that change uh, in your uh, ECU calibration. Uh, or, and we have our alarm page, 
uh, which is triggered by uh, any of the alarm settings in uh, the Dash Design software. Uh, we also have four uh, user configurable display screens. Uh, it's like having four different dashboards in one. Uh, and what's nice about that is you can pick any of our predefined, pre-made templates that we supply for you in the Dash Design software. Uh, or you can go ahead and create anything you want, display anything you want, how you want, uh, using the Dash Design software. And there you have it, another successful CD Dash installation using non-AEM CAN devices. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Click the thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe to get the latest content. For detailed product information, visit amelectronics.com.